What's up, Cave Maniacs? Welcome to this Wednesday's episode of uh, Meet the Artist. You will not be meeting an artist this episode because unfortunately we have had a scheduling conflict and our editor is going on vacation. So it's just going to be me, I, Uncle Nasty, the phenomenal, the most handsome, the most uh, rewarding experience that you're going to have today that I will be blessing you with these cards. And we are going to be giving away the ones from last week, which is Arwen Necker on social media. So the, the cards will still be given away on Wednesday. You'll just have to go and it'll be posted on Instagram and on the Facebook, uh, the Gabe's Cave Facebook and Instagram. And the winners will be posted there, guys. Everybody needs a break at some point in time. And since we talked about it, yeah, now you know. So this week, who we got? artist this is a new artist uh who knows guys we may get a chance to interview him still and just be able to maybe do it on a saturday episode i'm not ruling that out but because of uh scheduling and things that we needed to have happen we need to go ahead and pump this out so if you artists are watching this and you sent cards into us and you have not had your interview please get in contact with us some way oh you can call the store gabe's cave comics card collectibles you can message me on facebook you message marty uh message gabe's cave 13 at gmail or whatever you got to do let's get you some uh some interviews scheduled so this is ian mcdougall art mcdougall art he is a pop culture portraits and paintings it says right here tops and upper deck sketch card artist and he takes commissions his facebook is ian uh, is ian mcdougall art his uh instagram is ian mac art and his uh email address is ian mcdougall art at gmail and he also has an etsy.com shop so yeah guys it will not be hard to find this gentleman and we're going to start right up here at the top corner because i know you guys just want to get through with this so you have an opportunity to win these sweet sweet cards right here we have andar let me tell you guys these cards are amazing you're not going to be able to see the beauty of them coming from the camera above but i'm telling you guys uh he really knocked every single one of these out of the park it'd be hard for me to pick a favorite but i am going to pick a favorite because that's how we get down next we have shatoro kanada i think i said that right from akira is an awesome little cartoon it's been many years since i saw that but if you guys have not seen that i suggest you check it out and like i say guys it is just a fantastic card next we have animated batman I'm really enjoying what he did with the red background like that. You'll see that we have uh, backgrounds like that pop up from time to time, and I'm always a fan of those when we see those. And next up, we have Gladriel from, uh, I do believe this is from the Rings of Power show, not from the original Lord of Rings. I believe that's her from Rings of Power. And it's the, the detail in the hair, guys, and just every little thing down to the corner of her lips. You can tell this guy put a lot of effort into this or maybe he didn't maybe he's just born that way or something maybe it's, maybe he's born with it or whatever maybe it's maybelline next we've got daredevil and i'm really really loving this card the texture you can almost it looks like if you touched it you could feel the ripples on the leather and the stubble and the mustache the level of detail guys on something this small is just incredible next down here like i said guys i am going to pick a favorite so I'm probably going to go with this one. It's something about how he captured the reflection on this armor from everything that's going on. If you watched this movie, RoboCop, in 4K, this is what it would look like if you paused the TV. Next, we have Chung Lee. Guys, there's a new Street Fighter movie, uh, game and movie being developed, so you can guys can be excited about that. This is one of my favorite characters uh, from that fighting game. Once I learned how to do her combos, it was kind of hard to compete with Uncle Nasty. Uh, next up on the cards, we have uh, Indiana Jones. And as you guys know, the last Indiana Jones film that's going to be featuring him is going to be coming soon. Uh, and, and I can't wait. And once again, the detail on the card is incredible. And here we have another Indy, Indiana Jones card. And guys, what, what you can't tell from here, I'm sure, but if you win this card, what you'll be able to see is the way that he did the light coming down. Okay. When it hits his britches leg right here, there's just this one strip to where you could tell that, you know, he's wearing like the brown pants and the brown boots. Really, really fantastic job of capturing that scene on a sketch card. Just fantastic work. And next we have She-Hulk. 
guys, what can I say? All the way down to the glare in the eyes. And like I said, just like I said about Daredevil's suit, if you touched her, if you touch this card, of course it's smooth. Of course I bumped it, but if you, it's of course it's smooth, but it looks like it would feel like a business suit. I mean, that's what it looks like. It would feel like guys. Yeah, man, these are fantastic cards, dude. I'm so jealous that I don't get to enter to win these anymore, but I'm happy that I get to be a part of this and meet these fantastic artists and do all this kind of stuff. So yeah, man, uh, good luck to you guys on these cards. I guess really the only thing left to tell you guys about is the, Oklahoma City Pop Culture Con that is July 24th through the 25th. The Oklahoma City Horror Con that is August 5th and the 6th. Cowtown Comic Con that is September 30th through October 1st. And we are not just telling you guys about those cons because we just want you to go for no reason. We are telling you guys about them because we will be there. Um, also, guys, don't forget that every Thursday night is Gabe's Cave After Dark on the Gabe's Cave Comics Cards and Collectibles Facebook page where I go live at 7 p.m. Central and I sell comic books on Facebook out auction style where many of them start at a dollar. And there's always the hot girl summer at the end of that. And also, guys, we have some amazing people that are going to be coming by the store, the physical store here in El Dorado, Arkansas, at Gabe's Cave Comics Cards and Collectibles on uh, July the 16th. We have Lisa Miller, who will be coming, and she will be signing autographs. She is Songbird Pistol Art. She is a fantastic artist and lady. Definitely want to come by and meet her if you're in the area. On July 17th, the very next day, good buddy of mine, good buddy of ours. I really like this guy a whole, whole lot. If you're not following him on social media, you probably ought to. Rob Brassard will be here July the 17th and also on July 22nd we got the mountain of a man but as friendly as they come look like a big old Viking he's got several different series of books that he's writing author TB Phillips if you guys are anywhere near here you definitely got to come check that out and before we jump off here man we're going to take this time and thank that sponsor again rpghiring.com <laughs> All right, guys, man, thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. I know it was short and sweet, but, hey, maybe we'll get lucky and get to talk to this dude on a Saturday episode. Don't forget to check out everything that we got going on Facebook because we always got something different going on, and you, we may post it on there before you see it on here. All right, guys, till next time, Uncle Nasty, we out. <laughs>